It was never a good idea to leave a dead body part in the body. Two things biological dentists do not like to see are dead teeth and teeth that have undergone a root canal treatment because they are dead too. This is not just the whim of biological dentists. In the medical world, it's universally accepted that no other medical discipline tolerates dead body parts being left in the body. This should include teeth, but it doesn't. This seems crazy to me. In the medical world, dead body parts are removed as quickly as possible because of the inflammation they can cause and the toxic risks they pose to health. A root canal treatment can initially provide relief and certainly contributes to the disinfection process in the short term. But sooner or later, a dead or root canal treated tooth will be repopulated with bacteria and as a result will always lead to chronic problems in the body. Root canal treatments do have their place though and should only ever be used for short-term acute pain treatment. As you can see, this is not a healthy body part. Root canal treated teeth are chronic inflammatory sites that can lead to chronic problems locally, but also in other areas of the body as well. More than 100 years ago, Western Price coined the term focal infection for this purpose. Without a blood, nerve and lymph supply, the tooth is nothing but dead organic tissue with no immune function, which thanks to its anatomy makes it the perfect breeding ground for pathogenic microorganisms. There are between 30 to 75,000 dentin tubules per square millimeter. If all the dentin tubules of a root were lined up, they would cover a distance of about one kilometer. Pathogenic bacteria exist in this widely ramified canal system of root and form highly toxic sulfur compounds, thioethers and mercaptanes, which can block vital enzymes at their active center. As non-living organic tissue can begin to decompose over time, necrogenic material with increased toxicity, proteoskins and cadaverins can also develop. As a result, it's important to remove all possibilities of infection because the immune system won't be able to reach nor recognize it. This leads to chronic inflammation systemically as well as of the surrounding tissue locally. It is also common for a patient to have an allergic reaction to root fillings, root filling materials, which usually contain classic allergens such as epoxy resin, peru balsam, or rosin. Teeth and their periodontium have a relationship with other physical structures and organs in the whole body. Reinhold Voll coined the term odontone, the tooth meridian connections. You'll see in this graphic below. It shows the direct interrelations between each tooth in different areas of the body. Interactions of positive and negative influences are possible in both directions. I'll explain. A disturbed organ can pathologically affect the dissociated tooth and conversely a sick tooth can disturb its correlating organ. If you had a root canal treatment, do not panic. There's no rush to remove every root treated tooth immediately. That said, I recommend that anyone who has undergone treatment be examined for signs of chronic inflammation or cysts at the root tips. A healthy body can usually tolerate chronic inflammation for a while until another solution is found. When looking for a solution to this issue, it's always important to take into account the patient's overall health and what their goals are. Do they need to be at the top of the game and stay completely healthy? According to a study from my colleagues, Dr. Lechner and Dr. Volker von Baer, data shows that local pathologies caused by endodontically treated teeth may increase immunological and systemic dysfunction, which should at least raise an eyebrow in all folks who are interested in biohacking or optimizing their health. For chronically ill people and high-performance athletes, I recommend finding an experienced biological dentist who can remove the diseased tooth, thoroughly clean and disinfect the surrounding structures with ozone and neurotherapy, and as a bonus, replace the tooth with an immediate ceramic implant to ensure the gum and underlying bone doesn't recede. I call this socket preservation 3.0. Now you understand why we look at root canals more critically in biological dentistry. Always remember, our goal is your optimal health. Cheers, Dr. Dominic.